Welcome everyone to the week ahead commodity report where we of course will be reviewing the markets for the week ahead. This time last week we talked you through the potential of a great sell short opportunity on platinum that in fact worked out really well for us last week. We were able to bank both ways of the trade banking on the sell short side and then reversing position. Currently we are up 630 points and that's just from last week where we've taken advantage of these big sell offs reloaded on gold silver platinum. So let me just go through this in a bit more detail with you so first of all if we just follow on from Thursday's silver asset of the day we discussed with you in detail you want to be keeping an eye on this 24 US dollar per ounce handle very sticky level for silver here and what we're looking to capitalize on is a further upside move here later on in the week we've seen the classic takedown earlier on in the week over Monday through to Wednesday and then the breakout later on in the week particularly on Friday so Friday's move was a 1.6 percent move to the upside so a nice decent breakout there and then I would also keep an eye on gold here so we mentioned it before that gold is effectively moving within a 1,000 point range. So all really gold has done here is it's had a breakout to two month highs at the beginning of the week. It's hit liquidity again around the 1965 to 1970 zone. Subsequently, we've seen a massive sell off here off the vaccine news, the Pfizer news from Monday. This has caused this price action to break back down towards that swing low of 1850 to 1870 again here and just provided a perfect opportunity to reload. However, this is where many traders, they panic sell out of their positions they start to expect the price action to break all the way back down towards the 1800s as usual gold doesn't do that it found support at the 50s so around the 1850 handle here again these sort of trades they do require stamina so we've seen the price action retest support four days in a row and we've seen that usual counter flow at the start of the week over monday tuesday and wednesday pressure to the downside on the metals subsequently we've broken out here over thursday and friday we've actually built into three positions now on gold in the latest week all new positions which are currently up 390 points into the close on friday that's worked out really well of course we discussed this with you in detail last week on tuesday's asset of the day as well the really big opportunities for you to capitalize on with this current market volatility and these big news items where you are seeing pharmaceutical companies in a race here to develop the vaccine every time we do get a big news item revolving around that expect the potential for some really nice volatility on the metals that you can capitalize on and again you want to make sure that you have an edge in the markets technical analysis is not an edge at all many price patterns and structures that may have worked several years ago they won't work in these market conditions you need a lot more information data market intelligence awareness of cycles key liquidity zones, and what the hedge funds and money managers are doing rather than using outdated technical analysis strategies or indicators which just simply number one won't give you an edge number two they won't work and number three you'll get chopped up all the time if you're doing that if you're trading purely on technical analysis we see it all the time then let's just move over to the other metals here as well so let's go over to platinum here so we mentioned this last week again that platinum it looked vulnerable so if we were to get some pressure to the downside if the dollar managed to hold support around the 92 zone so let me just show you the dollar index here so at the start of the week the dollar index found support at the 92 zone managed to get a nice bounce over monday and tuesday that put pressure on the metals platinum gold and silver all tanked as well off the back of of course the vaccine news at the beginning of the week as well and with that this provided a great opportunity here to reload again on platinum so our platinum trade is up 200 points into the close here on friday now it's really interesting if you observe the gold to platinum ratio at the moment so historically the gold to platinum ratio you don't spend much time where platinum prices are half the price of gold and they're less than half the price of gold at the moment so historically platinum prices they don't spend much time less than 50 percent of the price of gold here in fact to be 50 percent of the price of gold platinum needs to be trading at 945 us dollars per hour and that's a 500 point move from where platinum prices are at the moment so i'll put that on your radar we've had a nice bounce here in the latest week but really the name of the game right now is taking advantage of this volatility so this choppy price action is providing us with a great way to just keep coming in and out of the market as i mentioned before you need to be nimble make sure that you're banking profits regularly that you're aware of major liquidity zones the cycles the seasonality what the hedge funds and money managers are doing in the market this will help you massively to trade commodities successfully something else that you need to be aware of right Right now is GDX which is the gold miners so typically gold miners they do put in a low in middle of November and you can see an uptick in price action which can lead the other metals higher as well so basically last week on Wednesday GDX gap lower it put in the low for the week and since then we've continued to get higher highs and higher lows we've seen this three days in a row over Wednesday
Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh, look out for this also on the higher time frames as well here for GDX, which is essentially creating a price structure which could see a continuation pattern here now, between now going to the end of November and then December as well, much like we saw as well this time last year as well, when we had a nice breakout from that bull flag formation on the weekly chart, leading to some really significant gains over November, December, January, and into the peak of the breakout in February. So we're setting up with a very similar price structure at the moment on the weekly chart. I would absolutely keep an eye on GDX here to potentially lead the metals higher if we continue to see it gain and break out of the recent consolidation here that we've had in GDX and it starts to climb above the recent swing highs. This is where you need to keep a lookout for gold, silver, and also platinum prices to potentially do the same. So I'm sure many of you are aware of this, but if you have a look on the weekly charts again here, we'd be consolidating now for gold prices for the last couple of months here. We put in the highs over August. We've had a correction lower, but then over the last two months, it's been great just to trade those ranges in and out multiple times, capitalizing on this. But once we do get going to the upside, I would look out for, again, the potential of this follow-through continuation pattern, the bull flag that we've had on the weekly chart. We've seen this multiple times over the last couple of years. Just have a look at the chart going back to 2019 here, the breakouts that we saw over November, December, and into January. And again, this is what occurred over over the summer months here where we saw the breakout to all-time highs so that's what i'm looking at here very closely with the metals and you can also utilize gold silver platinum priced in other currencies as well so often that will give you some further correlation there really help you to understand where the price action is going next so certainly going into next week that's what you need to be aware of on gold silver platinum then finally just moving over to crude oil we've seen some pressure to the downside over Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday here. Going into next week, of course, I would continue to look out for headline news items regarding vaccine narrative. We've seen the news item regarding Pfizer at the beginning of last week, but essentially any vaccine news is a positive for the oil market. That's where very simply it can suddenly catch a bid like it did at the beginning of last week where it broke out 10% in just a matter of three days. And then as the vaccine news started to dissipate here, where we saw that it was actually going to take longer to implement the vaccine and that it's not really realistically going to be out until two. 2021 we started to see the price action subside to the downside again here for crude oil but this is a great market to keep an eye on going into next week if we do start to break down and we break below the lows here that we've had on friday and we close below it you could start to see price action come back down towards the lower end of the channels here but on the opposite side keep an eye on that vaccine narrative going into next week this then brings me on to the lockdown and restrictions that we're seeing at the moment around europe the usa and the rest of the world as well this is not going away we continue to see additional states in the USA move into lockdown. Measures in Europe are getting stricter. We're seeing other countries start to be forced to come back into lockdown as well. This is the new normal and you definitely don't want to waste a good lockdown here. If you felt you wasted the previous lockdown, this is really the perfect opportunity to capitalize on the commodity markets. We're coming into the absolute optimal time of year where you've got big amount of volatility, some very clear cycles that typically play out. You've also got a number of narratives in the market which are all compounding some very strong trades that we take at this time of year leading into December and then into Q1 of 2021. There are some major plays that you want to be aware of that you want to be capitalizing in the following weeks here. And this is where you've got time right now to learn a research driven approach to the market to really optimize your trading. Certainly don't waste your time trying to learn outdated technical analysis or indicators that will just set you back. You need to optimize your trading to the best edge possible. And that's of course where you want to be utilizing the same approach that the hedge funds, the money managers are using in the market you need to have access to data in real time be aware of the daily cycles the weekly cycles the monthly and the quarterly cycles in the market capital flows in the market is very important this is a huge driver of some of the price action that we get as opposed to technical analysis alongside that you want to layer in your understanding of ratios in the market commodities priced in other currencies and of course the US dollar how they respond at different times of year and add to that macro data our in-house intelligence our levels of liquidity and this is where it will really help you to be precise not only with your entries but your exits so you can be really nimble and have edge in the markets so if you would like to join a community of successful traders learn a research driven approach to the markets and also join the live trading room mentorship program there is an opportunity for you to do so as a member, you get access to our exclusive live trading room webinars. You have access to our real-time trade alerts, trading research and market insights, access to our private members academy website, and also support and one-to-one -one mentoring. 
For more information, just go to www.jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application, and we will, of course, get in touch with you ASAP. And do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you're always kept updated with all of the latest commodity reports.